Hello fellow YouTubers, I suppose everybody knows what one of these things is and it's time for it to die but before I get going a little message for old Pete Ritchie there you go mate that's where the microwave decided to bite me as I was trying to get the uh, the magnetron out I went back today and said you ain't having that fucking skin either ah. People probably know, especially those here that love love old photons antics. I'm not going to open this as carefully as he does. I'll save that for when I really get the shits. as per usual, plugs out, got to stay safe, but there's one thing we have to do. And hang on, I'll be back. discharge the fly back at least temporarily. Try another screwdriver. Needed something that could hang on to the hang on to the plug. The, the, the actual clip. There it goes, nice little fat crack. That's the first little bit that I want out of it. But what I'm going to try here, take that off. Don't need the suction cup anymore. It's gone. Strip that off a little. Not cut it off. Get in a little better here. Time for photons opening carefully, that might come later. There's just one little piece I want out of this, and that's the flyback. I one voltage one rules knows all about those things. What we want here There we go Cut the corona off that Probably don't pick it up as much on the camera as I am here, but you can actually see the plasma stream in the corona before the arc fires. And it is louder here than it is on camera. There we go. 
there's that bit done. Discharge that. Now we get to the interesting part. Pulling it down. Now first things first. On the other side of this point here, which is discharged now, good. That was the main power capacitor. Get rid of that board. This thing is just going to end up being scrapped, so those get cut. The flyback, I'm going to keep that. Undo these little fellas. There's two little, two little rings on here. You've got to let both of them off. The best way I've found to take these off is just give them a little twist. Some of them are a lot harder than others, and this one's a nice, easy one. So far, take the yoke off. Meanwhile, while they're like this, they're still dangerous. Especially if you hit, get a large tool or anything up against this part of it, because they can go off like a bomb. There we go. Vented. A lot safer. Take the board out. Speakers. The gousing coil, that's going to come out a little bit later. Not too much later. Not a lot to do with these things. I'm just going to simply cut that. The beauty of it is, this board will still run. It's a little earthing strap. If you're doing these for scrap, you don't worry about that. But uh, the biggest scrap is in them. And this coil here that I'm pulling out. And the yoke, which is the uh, piece off the back that I pulled off. Well, we have a solution for that. Take the easy way out. Cut it. The gousing coil. Gone. Get another one of these. I might actually might actually show everyone what happens if you decide to go attack them with a magnet. mark of a little piece of technology it still gets me stuffed how they managed to pack these things into here but they do well they don't anymore flat out finding a CRT anywhere these days Not a new one if that is everything's gone LCD even, even oscilloscopes Then again, without the LCD, we wouldn't have the laptop. Which I dare say, quite a few of the, quite a few of you'd be watching on. That's a little blow-up victim. One thing I've noticed is there's a lot been a lot of talk about capacitors. 
And you take this little capacitor, for example. I don't quite know the rating of it, but it's at least 2400 volts. Come across one of those, could quite in easily be dead. I'll discharge a lot of current in one very short hit. Except when they've got a resistor in them. So most, most of the microwaves I've come across have got resistor, resistors fitted in the, in the capacitors. Even this one. Which you'll probably, one will probably recognise from the last teardown video. But a couple that I've uh, come across in my little time here. 25 microfarad, 450 volt. Aircon starting capacitor. And this little one, 400 volt, 700, 7.5 uh, uh, microfarads, with a little inductor in it of 60 microhenries, plus or minus 10 percent. And 0.97 microfarad. Samsung job too. Um, 2400 volt internal resistor and no PCBs importantly. But kind of a little treat. We will blow something up. Hopefully. Tiny little 10 watt CFL. Now let's see that one handle the microwave transformer. Trusty chicken stick. A little bit of fun coming up with a uh, fridge compressor be for, for a future video. Oh, wrong idea. An idea something like that might happen. I hooked it up to a bloody camera, didn't I? You don't hook something up that's going to take about, uh, oh, Just fried a power board. <laughs> and no, I'm not killing it. Not this time. I think it'll be time to uh, ballast it off and then just let it run for a while with that. A little 400 watt ballast might do the trick. Anyhow folks, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Now I've got a special little addition here. Especially for Boombox Deluxe, because I know he loves arcs in light bulbs. Get rid of that out of the way. Now 
except that one decided it was just going to arc out in the in the case. Let's see if I get any better with this one. Always got to watch that, but that was that was nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.